Hey everyone and welcome back to Neo. On this video we're going to be doing the submission Demon Hunting. This one's level 52 with a difficulty of 3. And some interesting rewards here, we get some Master Samurai's locks for some more Samurai skill points. We get two pieces of red demon armor, one of which is purple. And we get six spirit iron fragments. So I'm ready to go, I just want to try out my new guardian spirit. Usuda Hicho, the butterflies. Uh, you get life recovery from purification of 150. That is every time you do a key pulse, or uh, I guess a perfect key pulse. And uh, it doesn't matter if it cleanses something or not, you're going to get that life, which is really nice. And you get 20% uh, evasion key usage, also very nice. And we get 300 versus Yokai Realm, which is insane. Absolutely insane. And if I had more spirit, I would get increased water damage, although I'm not doing any water damage at the moment. And I would also get 15% more strong attack key damage if I had 17 spirit. So let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. Our domain is infested with yokai of late, and the people are suffering for it. If the enemy were not yokai, I would fight alongside you. But Sir Anjin, can I leave this in your hands? Alright, let's go ahead and use this shrine. And just the tiniest amount of Amrita. And my shortcuts uh, could probably use some work here. Let's see, I think that's uh, Hirokudama. Let's just put the Kyakudamas back in. Because I'm certainly not going to need these Shingiku medicine for this. So, we'll throw that back in. And we should be good. I'm going to change that to the uh, the small spirit stones. Uh, where'd they go? There we go. And looks good. Okay, so we should have some enemies here. There we go. We got a Skull Dude and a Yoki. Oh! Oh, I got lucky there. I should have got hit. I'll take it, though. And we got something else that's mad. It's another Skull. Looks like two of them. Oh, make that three. Oh, I got a little lucky again. Well, finish him off here. And what do we got? Oh, it's a dual wielder. These are always nasty. Oh, look at that dodge. I'm getting better at fighting these. Not too bad. Oh, well, that wasn't too good. Let's go ahead and use an elixir. Oh, got him right in the face. Okay, this is cleared out. I feel like getting rid of that, so I will. And I don't think there's really anything to grab in this level. Just the items that the enemies drop. So yeah, I don't see anything. Let's keep moving. Oh, we got a Yoki and an Amrita Fiend. Oh, well, I was gonna EI yeah, quick draw him, but that's way too slow. Uh, let's use an Elixir. Okay, I got rid of him. Oh, walked right into that. Oh, we got a wheel monk. Uh, wheel monk and a skull. Let's 
get rid of this skull. Oh, there's two wheel monks. Well, let's bust out this living weapon. Give it a shot. I have the butterfly health. Okay, well, this dude's down. And finished. Oh, look out. Ow, ow. Ow. This guy's being a jerk. There we go. Finish him off. Good. And if you haven't noticed, I keep getting that health from the purifications. It definitely helps. It's a nice little bonus to have. And even though this looks like you should be able to climb up, you can't. So I don't know why they made that look that way. And uh, this area is cleared out. Let's keep moving. And I may as well just use a regeneration here. Because we're about to be fighting the boss. And look who it is. It's that dude. It's been a while since I fought him. Well, really the first boss in the game, unless you count that executioner who was super easy. He used to be so scary, but now I'm feeling much more confident. Still need to be careful though, he hurts. He is not to be underestimated, but before I was scared to even get close to him, not so much anymore. I had a lot more practice since then. Doesn't mean he can't hit me, and he did right there. Oh, ran me out of key, too. Okay, let's use an elixir. Let's pop him with the sloth talisman. Maybe throw on a fire amulet for some extra hurt. Let's get out of the way. Oh, well, that was lame. Kind of, like, brought it back and hit me. Uh, let's see. Let's bust out a spirit weapon on him. Right here. Get him in the back, too. It's almost out of key. There we go. Alright, what do you got now? Well, not much there. Oh, he caught me with that. Let me uh, elixir myself. Ow! Well, he's being a little bit rougher now. Let's, th let's throw some bombs at him. Oh, and dodge that. Eat another bomb. That bomb's like barely scratching him. Throw one of these stupid things at me. Knock it off. We gotta throw another one. Alright, bring it. Let's do this. Hard to get hits in because he just keeps doing stuff. There we go. Oh, we got new skulls. Oh, camera's going all weird. Look out. Okay, there we go, and he's down. Get some good hits in there. Dodge out. Okay, skulls are done. Big hits here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've almost got him. And this might be it for him. Yep. He goes down. And I received the title On the Oki Slayer. So, not nearly as scary as before.
Got way more tricks up my sleeve these days. But still a formidable opponent. And we are done here. Let's finish up. Mission complete, demon hunting. They call me the Red Oni, but what, I, what am I compared to a man who battles real demons? Perhaps one day I will have the good fortune to probe your prowess as a warrior with my spear. Okay, let's use those Master Samurai's locks. That's up to 14 Samurai skill points. Is there anything I could spend that on real quick? Oh, let's get this, Relentless 2, get myself three more key. That'll help. And that's probably all I want. Yeah, I don't see anything else that's really jumping out at me. Okay. And let's check new items. I didn't pick up too much there, so... Probably nothing I want. Uh, we got this new red demon armor. It's got life versus poison, human item drop rate. And what is that effect? Life recovery... When you finish using uh, a living weapon. So that's not bad. Plus it has a set bonus. But this is meant for a spear, obviously. Skill damage on something called spear fall. Uh, what was that other thing? Increase attack and defense if you're using something called Inko. I don't even know what that is. And so yeah, nothing I really want there. Okay, uh, Frontline Warrior's Armor. I don't have enough strength for it, but I can probably level up. But is it something I want? Let's see, it's got Key of Four. I do want that. Toughness, Virtual Kaya Realm. I would lose some life. I would lose defense. And it's way heavier. So, no, I definitely don't want that. Not for me. And nothing else I want. Okay, let's go to the blacksmith. Break this crap down. Uh, yep, we'll kill that. Kill that as well. And I didn't have any accessories. Let's see if there's anything good under special finds. Oh, purple Kusadagama. Interesting. And also some purple heavy stuff. Neither that I want, but nice to see her bringing in some purplies. And am I done here? Yes. Let me go to the shrine, see if I have enough. And read it a level up. Nope, I'm a little shy. So, let's see, we've got a new title, so we got new points, we'll get uh, three more luck, and no points there, and we've got new Amrita Memories, Yokai Illustrations, probably for killing that boss again, you seem to get some lore every time you kill one, and I got 26 different enemies, oh, here we go, the Onlyoki, the two horns on its head emit a weird glow. It is said that horns represent the source of power for an Oni, meaning they lose their strength if their horns are damaged. But only the most powerful and precise strike could hope to shatter them. Well, I'm pretty sure I shattered them a couple times. So I must be pretty precise. And nothing else here. And we've got character directory for some reason. I have no idea who this might be. Don't see anything on these. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, who is it? Okay, I'm pretty sure uh, the entry was for Li Naomasa, or E Naomasa. Took me a while to find it. Um, it only makes sense that he'd, it'd be for him because he actually sent me on the mission. It says, uh, Naomasa hired a unit of Takeda retainers who were feared for their blood red armor and reorganized them as Ease Reds. Naomasa led them personally. The Reds proved their mettle at battles across Japan. 
with Naomasa himself wearing a horned helmet and bringing such ferocity to every confrontation that he became known as the Red Oni. Okay, and we are all caught up. And, oh, that's new. Uh, yeah, that wasn't there before, so for completing that demon hunting submission, I got this submission right here. So, new things are popping up to do. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.